everybody, it's Jasmine and I have a new beauty video for you. Um, I kind of wanted to go over what I did for my holiday makeup and I want to show you the products that I used and what I think I'm not going to use going into 2019. Um, so let me know your thoughts towards the end of the video and we'll just go ahead and get started. So CoverGirl has just always been my go-to foundation. I've used it my entire life and when you use something for so long, sometimes it's kind of hard to get away from it. But I don't really know if I'm really happy with it anymore. There are a lot of other foundation products and brands that I would like to try. So going into 2019, I think that's what I'm going to do. I have such a light skin tone. It's probably going to be very hard to find something that really matches. But I've always used CoverGirl. I have always used CoverGirl um, concealer. And then recently, the last couple months, I started using this CoverGirl True Blend. Um, like color neutralizer as a primer and honestly I feel like it just doesn't really work maybe it doesn't work the way I expect it to work um, right now I have some little bit of pimples and acne going on just from like stress of moving lately and I haven't been on top of my skincare routine like I normally am and I don't really notice much of a difference with this so I kept using it on and on last couple months just trying to make sure I didn't like it um, but now I'm like almost to that point where I don't think I like it. So the new goal for 2019 is just going to find some type of foundation and concealer that maybe matches my skin tone a little bit better and definitely try to find a neutralizer that I feel really works. And if I just run the gambit of every color neutralizer there is and they all have the same effect, then I know it's just me and it's not necessarily this. The price point for, uh, for CoverGirl is not bad. So part of me kind of hopes that I go back to using it and I can just be happy with the results. But the other part of me really wants to try different products uh, that might actually work. And the foundation that I have been using, I just found it, has been the CoverGirl Olay Age Define. Um, advanced Radiance, like just kind of all over. I like that it has uh, SPF sunscreen in it, but as far as, you know, maybe I just need to try something different. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. So that's my base, you know, kind of my base going on here as far as foundation and stuff like that. The blush, I always use Laura Geller New York Baked Brush and Blighten. But did I really say that? <laughs> blush and Brighten. Uh, and I believe I got this in BoxyCharm. It was BoxyCharm. It was not Ipsy, it was BoxyCharm. Uh, I like it, and as you can see, I've been using it for a while, but I still haven't hit pan or anything. It still looks, uh, looks like there's a lot there. So I'll continue using that for a while. The highlighter that I do have on, which is very sheer and you can't really see it, which is great because sometimes you don't want a blinding highlighter. You need something kind of for daytime wear or for everyday wear, is the Winky Lux Charm Holographic Highlighter, which was an Ipsy. Uh, and you can see I actually hit pan on that. I hit pan this morning on that. Um, I like it. It is very sheer. It's not so sheer that you can't totally see it. Um, and with the holographic formula, it is really pretty when you can see it. Again, it might be my light skin tone, so I like it. I'm um, not sure if I'd go for buying it again, but I'm definitely going to use up the rest of the or I just hit pan. I'd give it like two or three months. It'll probably be gone. So that was my highlighter and blush. I didn't contour. I just didn't fill up to it this morning. For my eyeshadow, I love this but it is a pain in the ass to use for me, honestly. It is the Marsk Foiled Again, and this was sample, this is sample size, so I did get this in Ipsy. It's upside down. <laughs> um, but this is Foiled Again, it is a loose powder, and when I mean loose, it is loose. When you open this, a lot of product is gonna dump out, and it is just glitter, which on camera, it just kinda looks like a gray shadow. It is glitter, and it is very pigmented. It is a loose shadow and all I did for this look was use an angle brush because literally once you put it on doesn't matter if you lightly kind of blend or if you pack it on. Glitter is going to go everywhere so you for me I kind of have to go ahead and commit to I'm going to have glitter on my face all day. It's not that bad on camera you can't really see it but like I'm looking in the mirror you can kind of see it under my eyes and stuff like that which that's just another reason I do want to go with another foundation because these under eyes are just really hard to cover up. Um, but going back to Mars, I like it for loose powder. It's awesome. It is just a little bit of a pain in the ass because I feel like I'm going to dump out half my product every time I open the bin. 
Um, so if anyone has any tips on how to transfer loose powders to something that's easier to work with, leave them in the comments below so I can read them. But that was what I used for my eyes. I just did all over because, again, it's like, especially if you have deep set eyes like I do, you don't really need to use any other colors. You know, the, the lid's going to pop a little bit. You're going to get the shadow on the crease. For me, it was just good to go. Now, again, not sure if I'll just go ahead and buy that again, but this being a sample size, I've had it for a while. I think I got it in an MC Summer bag, and it's like new, except for, you know, the powder then dumped out. Now, this Ico eyeliner I originally did not like um, because it's like a felt tip pen, and I felt like I couldn't really draw a straight line with it. So I have played with it more and more, and it's okay. Like, it's not going to be my go-to eyeliner, but I am going to use it up, and then we'll see if I actually buy it again. But it is the uh, I Do Liquid Eyeliner, but then it is, of course, a felt tip pen. Um, it's packed with, with the product. There's no dipping or anything. It doesn't dry out, or at least hasn't dried out now, which I'm very thankful for, just so I can go ahead and use it because I did buy it technically um but i don't think i'd go for it again not my go-to eyeliner but it serves its purpose and then of course my lip color now i don't use lip liner i probably should it's just not something i normally buy i have a couple of them of course not in red uh, but i am using again the hard candy glitterazzi press and play uh lip color just so it can match my nails a little bit. It's a little glittery. If you haven't seen my video on this, go ahead and check it out. I'll have a link in the comments below. But uh, it goes on matte, and then when you press your lips together, glitter appears. Um, so it serves its purpose. The price point is not bad. And considering all the other red lipsticks I have that actually don't match my nails, of course, this was a good one to go to. Um, it just kind of worked out perfect, so I'm really happy with it something you know kind of trendy something i just happened to see it was kind of a blind buy didn't know anything about it bought it i like it um would i buy this again probably in another color um just because i'm funny with reds li li red lipstick i have a lot of red lipstick i just don't wear a lot of red lipstick if that makes sense so don't know if i buy it again probably would in a different shade just to try out the different shades so that is that and what else? That's pretty much all I'm wearing. Now, I did get this. I'm going to have a December Box of Charm video coming up soon. I did receive this on my December Box of Charm video. It is the Pretty Vulgar, um, the Powder Rune Translucent Setting Powder. Now, the last time I got a Pretty Vulgar product, I really didn't like it, of course. If you haven't already, you can go watch that video, too. It was um, a, just a hot mess. Or a muddy mess. Right? Didn't like the eyeshadow that I got. But this is translucent setting powder. Now, I already have setting powders. I usually use um, this Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. That's usually what I use, and I like it. So, I was open to trying a different one. It comes with a cute little powder puff, which I like. And you can see it's not like a white powder. It is more of like a tan powder, kind of. It's not white. Now, it's not white on camera, but it's really not white. It's more of like an off-white, creamy kind of color, just like this bottle is, um, or the jar. The packaging is cute. Um, what I didn't like about it was using the puff, because I did want to use it the way that it arrived, um, using the puff on my face over and over again. I felt like it was going to take foundation off. I don't see that it really did on the puff. Of course, I, I put the puff back in there, so then we have powder on. Um... So I don't think it really took foundation off. You can see it's just kind of, it is translucent once you kind of pack it on there and blend it in. Um, so I may try this again with just a brush, just so I feel better about it. But I do like the packaging, it's cute. Um, I'll have to try it a few more times to decide if this is something I would regularly buy or not. Um, <laughs> usually I just use um, Makeup Mist set, like a spray set. Um, I don't always use a setting powder. When I do, it's the Tarte, and of course, this was another Ipsy sample, and I have enough of it. It's going to last a little while longer. So, I am in the market for a good setting powder, as opposed to like a set mist, because then that should be like the last application that you do, and I like to put a setting powder on to my foundation before I start everything else. Once I'm done with contouring and blush and, you know, primers and all that, then I like to set it. So that is what I have going on 
going into 2019. That's the stuff that I'm going to try to look more into. Or better foundations, better setting powders, uh, a better color neutralizer, and then some things I'm definitely going to have to get again. Um, of course, my Laura Geller blush I'll probably end up getting again. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of, of course, you know, if I can find a better way to keep these, I will definitely get these again. I do like loose powders. Um, but that's kind of what I have going on, and that's how I did my holiday look for today. I'm also going to have all this info on my blog. You can check out the link below. And if you want to get any of these products, what is available on Amazon will be in my Amazon influencer link below. And of course, you can always go on the blog, and I will have links to everything there as well. So, if I don't do another video, which I should, I should be able to do a boxing charm video, but if I don't, or if I don't see you, theoretically, before the new year, I hope you have a Merry Christmas, um, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, uh, Ramadan, whatever your holiday celebration is, and I hope you have a Happy New Year, and I will see you, if I don't see you before, in 2019. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see going into 2019. I want to do more um beauty videos because that's something that i'm into i've gotten into it more and more i'm not the best at makeup but i'm also a busy mom so i can at least show you how to not look quite so homeless if you're a busy mom usually i look kind of homeless um and if you saw the last video i put on youtube from my facebook live video i look pretty homeless but let me know what you want to see going into 2019 for this channel and i hope to see you soon have a great holiday and i will talk to you later